Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews! In today's episode, I have some more information about the upcoming Samsung Galaxy Watch, which is set to be released on August 9th, so in other words, in only 3 days time. Now this latest leak comes from a user on the Reddit forum that supposedly has a Samsung National Trainer friend and he revealed some information about the device. Now some of the information he revealed are details that were previously rumored to be included such as the two different sizes for the device including a 46 and 42 millimeter version and of course the new rose gold color which Samsung actually leaked itself about a week ago on the Samsung website. Now the two newest pieces of information he was able to confirm are pretty exciting though, particularly for fitness lovers and those that have experienced battery performance issues, which is about 99% of S3 users. Now first he stated that the new device will have 40 different workout modes and this is pretty significant because the S3 actually came loaded with only 10 different modes so the new Galaxy Watch will have about 4 times that amount so fitness lovers can definitely rejoice over these improvements. The other big news is that the Galaxy Watch will not only have a larger battery, but it's said to last up to 7 days without having to recharge. And I don't need to go through all the battery issues with the S3 because I think everyone to some degree has already experienced this, but I'll tell you what, 7 days is a pretty big claim and it's one I'm definitely going to be testing out for myself because it almost sounds like one of those too good to be true improvements, but we'll see. Now on top of these two big pieces of information, the other one revolves around using your watch as a payment device. Unfortunately, the Galaxy Watch will not come with the Magnetic Secure Transmission or MST technology and that sends a magnetic signal from a device to the payment reader, which in effect emulates a real swipe from a debit or credit card. Instead, Samsung is going to stay with the Near Field Communication or NFC method as it will allow for Samsung Pay transactions. Okay guys, that's the latest leaks out now about the upcoming Galaxy Watch and as I said, for those keeping count, we're now only 3 days away until the Samsung Unpacked event in New York and that's where of course the new Galaxy Note 9 and the Galaxy Watch are going to be revealed, so definitely stay tuned for more. Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.